Okay, now let's get to the heart of the matter. Dude, we're gonna move this one over here. So that what we're about to do will have kind of a central focus. Because what I've decided to do is I'm gonna get one D one D ten. One coquette D ten. I may get another one on my other character, but I mean, my other character at this point, I think I have. Let me check the paperwork. Didn't go through the thing in the time of that, but did not hear that sound. Bills in my. I'm gonna have to check. I think I have two parking spaces left on my main character. I thought one of those got eaten up by something else. I'm gonna have to double check. But I only have two spaces left. I've got now three left on this character. Kind of. So there, there's, this is becoming an issue. I, if I really, really fall in love with the D10, then maybe I'll get one for the other the other character. But for right now, let's we'll start it with that color. The Classic and, and Blackfin were the mature cars you love to ride. Now watch as they turn green and start leaking brake fluid at the sight of Invitro's in youngest model. The D10 is a classic pedigree dressed to the nine, spray tanned, and injected into everlasting youth. The age of the cougar is over. The real coquette has finally arrived. Order. Now we're going to put it here. I've got a few places I have a parking spot on this one. We'll fiddle the auto shop. And we'll... We'll cut away while this... this ha no, not now, Lester. And here it is. The D10. Now, the D10, it's got 130 mile an hour top end, which is nice. Doesn't really have the handling to keep up with the top sports cars. But the top sports cars are not allowed in drag races. So, this is what you use. And here you have it. Q to modify your vehicle. So obviously we go armor, full up, brakes, bumpers, okay. Mostly I don't want to, I'm going for a drag build on this because it's really only going to be used for drag racing. And I, I might keep it really clean because I don't want to get caught on any, uh, I don't know, maybe all that stuff clips, but I don't want to get caught in any curbs or anything like that flying around. Rear bumpers. Yeah, everything just makes everything stick out more. I want kind of a low drag build as much as possible. Not that it actually adds drag, but I mean, it's just, you know. Stock exhausts, sport diffuser. I mean, this is just where do we want to see the flames coming out when we hit the nitrous? Carbon performance diffuser. I think we'll go with that. We have a little bit of something going on. Stock grill. Carbon. Carbon with primary. Carbon with secondary. Okay, that's all just internal. Hmm, do we want... Can we get... How much? I don't know. Well, let's, let's go with secondary. Just we, If we don't want to do secondary, then we'll just make it all the same. A uh, horn. That is good. But nothing's calling to me. I have to. I have to get a character of the car. Um, the lights will come. Let's see. We'll, we'll put the uh, the neon layout front, back, sides on it just to. Um, lights. Do we have full option on this or can we put I'm not going to spend the money on this until I can maybe get it into the arena if I have to. I thought you could get the arena lights here but I guess you can't. Livery. Okay we get the black racing stripe. 
the white racing stripe. Da 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 da. Yellow in vitro. Now this is a thought. If we went with a, kind of a secondary, it looks like it covers up all of the paint though. So like, it can't give it that orange. <coughs> I normally do the orange and the flags so it matches my outfit. It does match. We'll cons consider it. That's a little wild. That's a little wild. That's pretty wild. Pegasi Hunter. It hunts Pegasis. And no. So we're not going to do that. Let's go to the respray. I'm sure, we're still recording it. Let's go to the respray primary color. Now, there's a lot of ways we can go with this. I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping that we could do something on like kind of a, a, a Corvette Mako kind of look. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen any of the, uh, the Mako Sharks from back in the 70s, but beautiful Corvettes and some kind of homage to that would be great dark blue maybe a galaxy blue definitely darker than all those like it's either going to be midnight Midnight looks so, so much like black in some of the other aspects. Of course, so does this. I mean, the mid the midnight blue is probably the right one. The galaxy is a little bit brighter and might actually compensate the fact that I can't do the two tone because it was like along the bottom. It was like like the shark. It was, it was supposed to be like a a lighter blue or a gray on the bottom. We could give it some kind of, what's well, a Saxon blue pearlescent? The midnight blue pearlescent just to tone it down. Or you can go the other route and just ultra blue it to give it a lot of contrast and shininess. If we're going to do that, maybe what we want to do is go with the midnight blue and then brighten it up with a pearlescent. That still might be a little bit not what I'm looking for. Well, I think even maybe the Mariner, the Mariner blue comes up like really hot there. I don't know why. I want something a little more subtle. How about straight up blue? I'm going back and forth to pictures from the... This might be... I tell you what, the thing about the Mako Sharks is that the, that paint job was just so good. With that fade, it might not be something that we can accomplish. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just talk about making it look good then. Galaxy blue might be the way to go with it. And racing ultra ultra. It's a bit hard to read too because my monitor is a little bit off right now. Everything's a little bit more blown out than uh, what I think it is. Either Galaxy or Midnight. One of the two. I think it's got to be Midnight, you know? With a pearlescent, let's go with a pearlescent Mariner or something like that, or straight up blue. Now, 
Mexico Gallo for, for right now. We can always repaint. Secondary color. We're going to go all the way back up into the silvers here. Got like a stone silver. There's not many parts on this I'm seeing. Like maybe the skirts will be able to pick up some of that. And we get their trim color. Let's see, what were the interiors on the uh, Makos? Looks like it was a, like a dark kind of. Let's let's match the midnight blue on the. Secondary roof. No, let's remove roof. That's that kind of works. <clears throat> Especially because one of the one of the makos was a convertible. But yeah, the secondary is not going to work because the top part was all dark anyway. So we're going to leave the stock roof. Skirts. Secondary wing skirts might work here. It doesn't really extend out the car or anything or give it anything where it's going to catch, but it gives it a little bit of gray on the bottom. Might brighten the gray up a little bit. Spoiler. Obviously needs something. Performance wing is nice. I like, I like the performance one. It's like the look of it. Sun strips, no. Suspension. This is a tough call because I don't want, again, I don't want to bounce this thing off. You know, curbs, it's a street racer. It's, if, if, if I was doing track, I'd say, yeah, let's do this. But it is a street racer. So we're going to need some, some clearance, Clarence. We'll see when we get to the wheels how they look. If we need to fill out the arches. Now, I've done a lot of thought on the wheels. And this car, I'm looking it up on, on uh, gtacars.net, uh, it does have the tires can clip f uh, flags, which means if I put off-roads on it, it'll have the smoothest ride. On the other hand, a lot of drag racing where this is going to be used involves curb boosting, so do I want to lose all of... Does it, do I want it to negate more? I don't know if that negates it or not. So I'm thinking, just because it's a vet, and there is a very specific set of wheels that I personally associate with vets, in my mind from growing up, and that is the old school. Put some chrome old schools on this. That, that kind of works for me as far as a vet is concerned. It's also giving me another thought. Do I want to go with the gold Corvette as opposed to a blue one instead of a Mako shark? Because that's not really working as a Mako for me. Do I really want to go back to... I think I might. Tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof tires. Tire design. Let's do it. Drag radio. You have to put the words drag radials on there, don't you? What if? Let us bounce back here now. Windows light smoke. Um, let's just to consider on the respray. Because although this does it does work, I'm not saying it doesn't work. This all goes back to when I was a kid. I had a gold uh, Corvette that uh, I brought to school, and the teacher kept it on me. Twenty years later, parents said, "Why can't you tell us? We would have gotten the car back." Huh? I thought I was in trouble. Hmm. I 
I don't know. I mean, then there's the other thing is we can go with metals. Like, both good. Do we go with the dark blue? Do we go with... I guess we can always change it up later on. For the secondary, do we want to go chrome? That seems excessive. Like, the wheels have to be chrome. That's just what they're supposed to be. These old schoolers. Can always update it. We always have that ability. Maybe when I get a new monitor, we'll take another look at it and see if this is what we want to go with or not. I think we're going to stick with the original plan. Um, let's let's go back through. Bumpers. Is there anything that really makes it look, you know, fantastic here? It, it, it all looks too much to me, you know? For a drag car. We might be done here. Midnight blue. But yeah, it looks practically black, but you know, that's not a bad look either. We left the... We left the uh, the ground effect lights white. Is that adequate? Might be. How does it feel? I mean, I know straight line is quick. But, whoa, yeah, 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 it's not gonna... You, you, you gotta slow down for the turns. That's why it doesn't, it doesn't pull down the kind of lap times around Ruffy's track that some of the other cars do. Hey, Skippy. But will it go up chilly? I'm willing to bet it'll go up chilly. Why do I always go all the way down? All I have to do is go to jobs where it starts. Play jobs, my jobs, races, chilly at hot, chilly odd, hot lap route. Maybe I'll save the gold vet concept for my other character. If I do, if I get two of these. Nope. 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 I wonder how long it will take me to... Okay, we're, we're at the bottom of the, uh, the list here. We have to go back up. So many sports cars. Where is she? Does it even load? It's not a super. Right? The D10's not a... Oh, there it is. Finally. Whew. Let's see what you can do. I don't know why I practiced this jump, because I don't think I'd ever take the risk in a real g friend although it worked out there. Almost. Alright, we didn't put it in the drink. I think, like, it's definitely down on grip, but, like, it has enough power. Power usually forgives a lot of sins. 
in a car's design. So I think it'll make it up the hot lap. Oh, I thought I thought I was gonna clip that there and flip it right into the water, right over the edge. Do I want to make that maybe ultra blue on the bottom? I don't know. You may see some variations in this car as time goes on. As I live with it for a little bit. Oh, that's not encouraging. It goes right to the rev limiter on this. Seems very susceptible to the, the foliage. To the bushes. I think it looks like we're going to have enough momentum. If we don't, if we start losing it here. Which we do. It just barely makes it. Man. It's not a grip monster. Power, yeah, but... I did not look up if it has advanced handling flags. The only reason I'm getting this is for drag racing. We may do some of that here as well. This might be a bit more of a combo video than you know, the usual build. Next time you see this, maybe it'll have go faster stripes on it. We'll see what, what happens. But for now, at least I have one. So if I go into a drag racing situation, on this character at least, I can have... This is the best option. It just is the, the one that to have if you actually want to win. So we gotta get it. Oh no, he doesn't. See, it doesn't turn in. There was no turning there. I mean, I it just slid sideways. Like I said, it's not a grip monster by any stretch. Come on now. Okay, which is less of a cheat? Starting over or booping it out? Let's try the boop out. At least it'll be more visually interesting than a reset. Because it could just kill me when it falls on me. Boop! That was that was very close to exactly how I said it would be. I'm run over by my own car. Not an auspicious run down the mountain here. I did get up, but Especially coming out, it feels a little floaty, a little bit it feels like it tends to push. I know, we could have gone for the little red Corvette and all that, but this is just what was calling to me at the time.
So if you don't screw it up, it should be able to do this, but it's it's not an optimal defred car. By any stretch of the imagination. It's all over the place trying to ride the rails. That was a true G-Fred moment. It's I say it's all over the place we're trying to ride the reels. And it just gets yeeted. It's absolutely yeeted. That was almost a smooth transition. But like, when you get out on the open road and you're just driving along, it does feel very quick. And you know, that, but look, look, look at this, it just doesn't want to turn. Not speed. It does feel like it's got kind of GTO style handling flag. I don't know if it'll curb boost as well. I was going to explode there. Not a traction monster. Just not. But it's a drag car. It's going to be a drag car is what we're going to use it for. Street racing drag car. You can make this work Fred-wise if you're careful. But it's not optimal. See that guy turbo boost in front of me, Trevor? I know it's... You juked him a little bit. Thumbs up. There you go. Let's hop out here. Let's do the look at it like we always do. Pop the door, the hood and the doors and the blah, blah, and the blah, and the blah, blah, blah. So... Obviously, go to manage vehicles. I'm still, still trying to get the uh, everything kind of balanced out here. You put the gun away. Nice two seater. Interesting thing. They've they've made it an automatic. I guess it could have flappy paddles on there someplace. If you, I don't see the flappy paddles. Nope. But when you take this out, it's going to be a manual. So the shifters there. Only it's maybe it's like a clutchless shift. I mean, we could do it. We can say that. There's the engine, mid-engine. It's ahead of the uh, the rear end. Very limited trunk. That's like why did you bother? You can put a briefcase in there, I guess. Very limited, but that's that's not what it's for. What it's for is drag racing. Should we try doing that with it? I think we should. I'm not encouraged by how this is not loading.
I'll be doing some editing here, I think. Did it crash me out? It did. Totally crashed me out of there. Wow. Come on. Rockstar created. Pick a race. Scroll all the way down to the drag races. Doesn't matter which one. We're just going to search for it when it's not there. Search for job. Doesn't work. Then we'll just come back another day and then make the video later. It doesn't matter. It's, it's all good. We're initializing. Maybe if this doesn't work, we host one and just take it on a drag race solo. I could see if there's anybody on. Let's see if any of my friends want a drag race. It's just broken tonight. Okay. Let's see how broken it is. Uh, let's see. Let's just do... Let's do Bluff It. Sure you want to start this job. Didn't ask me to search. Will this put us in one? Because I just wanted to host one just solo. We might have screwed ourselves. We might have found an actual race and then it's going to have trouble connecting for some reason. And dump me back out again. Yeah, that didn't work either. No, I'm not doing strip. I'm doing something here, Vincent. I'm, I'm trying to accomplish something. All right, we're gonna solo this. Traffic off. I just want to feel for it. We're just gonna do one real quick, guys, and then another day. And we can actually do some racing. Well, you know, if it comes up again, if we ever get to do some drag racing, then we'll use it. But I want to see, was this worth doing? I, 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 got, I drifted out for a, a microsecond there. Perfect shift, too late. Why am I in first person? All right, we're not locked yet. This is the part I really want to know about. Like, how does it feel? Do I have to worry about it in the turn? Am I going to have to lift? If there's traffic, I'm a little concerned, because you have to do those quick back and forths. Let's see how it does with nitrous on. That's 202 miles an hour. I can see why this brake works. Uh...
I can see why that works for drag cars. Do I want to give it some extra stripes, some extra I don't know. Well, but for right now, I think it's good. Give it the like. That was quick. Let's try it one more time. Let me see if I can get the shifts a little bit better on it. Have a better burnout. I also want to say I didn't notice what the top speed is. I may have left traffic on this one. Okay, we got the perfect burnout. Good. late just so we're at 130 there that's what it's supposed to test out at. Uh, 132 yeah avoiding traffic it does not like to dodge See how, you know, just that, just jockeying around that car there. You have to plan way ahead. Do I have nitrous? Yeah, we do. I didn't, didn't notice any nitrous. That's close. You have to be very judicious with your steering inputs, because it's, uh... Is it the one to take? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that 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 top speed once you hit the nitrous, even when you don't hit the nitrous, it's it's a fast straight line car. There might not be a lot of people doing drag racing right now because it's double money on transform. Drop us right by the drug dealer. Okay, well, that's something we could do. We could get to him. But we could save. That doesn't need to be part of the video, I guess. It's the making them the illicit money to pay for the car, which is intrinsic to this game. I think I like it. I mean, I might play with the, the color of the gray there a little bit. Just to brighten that up a little bit. Maybe that'll be a bonus, a little bit of bonus material at the end here. But on this note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your D10 and this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. And here's where she ended up. I went with a bluish silver secondary and I tied it in with the trim color so it's also bluish silver just to to give it a little bit more cohesiveness because there just wasn't a lot of secondary on this car. But I stuck with the midnight blue but gave it a mariner blue top coat there and mariner blue pearlescent. And I think I'm happy with it now. I think that gets kind of the Mako Shark Corvette look that I want. I think, I think we're good now. I have to think what plate to put on it. We like this because it's a street racer and you really shouldn't put custom plates on a street racer. It's only ever going to get used to drag racing. Because custom plates like see you later would be uh, real easy to remember. On the other hand, this is a video game and this would be funny. Let's do that. That's just the kind of plate that would aggravate people. Plate, um, let's see. Yellow on blue. E. cola sprunk. I'm not sure those fit on this. 
Yeah, I think it was a darker blue. And then we'll go down. What can we get to? Yeah, see you later. Play it updated. It'll be interesting to see when I can finally get into a drag race, a real drag race, what kind of career this car has. So I filmed all that back in February, February 10th or something like that, and now it's almost April. I realized I, I, I thought I'd edited this and uploaded it already. I'm like, wait a minute. This was never put together? I didn't even record an ending. I think I was going to record some more drag races or something. Put, I, I don't know what I was thinking. It's been more than a month. But, uh, okay, hey, we're going we're gonna to put this together real quick and get this out. So you can see the D10, and you've probably already seen it drag racing by now. Um, I thought I did this already. It's quite weird. But I didn't. It didn't happen. And now it's happened. So you finally get to see it. And on that note, that weird note, folks, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.